Hello M365 owners, today I will be showing you how to surpass the speed limits of your scooter. If you're already an owner of this awesome electric scooter, at one point you might have wished you could go a little bit faster. Keep watching and I'll show you how. Before we jump into this, you'll first need to know if your scooter qualifies for this modification. Basically your scooter needs to have two BMS Z fuses. This mod should not be done with one with a single fuse, as you'll likely burn out the fuse and disable your scooter. To find out if your scooter has two fuses or not, you will first need to look at the serial number and determine which model scooter you have. The serial number is located near the kickstand. You can also find the serial number in the Mi Home app. The first five digits of the serial number will be the model number. Here is a list to determine which model of scooter you have. 13678 is the Chinese white. 13679 is the Chinese Black, 16057 is the Youth Edition, also known as the M187, 16133 is the European Black, 16132 is the European White. In my case, I have the Chinese Black model. To check the Chinese Black model, you will need to look at the serial number's last 8 digits. Mine shows up as 00062325. As long as the number is above 35,000, you will have two fuses. If it is below, then you only have one fuse. If you have the Chinese white, youth or European white, you will need to look at the manufacturer date of the battery. You can view the date in the Mi Home app. If your battery is made after March 2017, you will have two fuses. Before March 2017, you should have only one fuse. And apparently all the European black models have two fuses. Once again, do not perform this modification if your scooter only has one BMS Z fuse. I don't know if there's any way around this, but if you do, please say so in the comments. Now, if your scooter has two fuses, we can go ahead and perform this modification. You'll need to have an Android phone and a preferably a fully charged scooter. First, we will need to install an app from the Google Play Store. Load the Play Store app and search M365 Down G. Install the app created by Kami Alpha. I would like to take a second to thank Kami Alpha for this awesome app. I really appreciate it. Now that you installed the app, you'll also need the firmware files. There's a link to the files in the description. You will need to download the zip file and extract it into your phone. Put it somewhere you will remember. Now load the M365 Down G app. Turn on your scooter and tap connect. Then tap check version. Now it should list the BMS, Bluetooth, and speed controller firmware versions. And it also shows the battery date. Tap and open the bin button and navigate to where you extracted the zip files. Once there, you'll notice there are a few files. 200 CFW is a custom speed controller firmware that raises the speed limiter to about 31 km an hour and changes the braking to be much more aggressive. It also allows for better coasting or freewheeling down slight hills. 200 CFWW is supposed to be a weaker version of the 200 CFW, but in my testing, it feels pretty much the same. BLE072 is a Bluetooth firmware that is supposed to improve connection to iOS devices, but I can't confirm this because I don't have an Apple device. BMS107 and BMS115 is battery management firmware. BMS107 outputs a little bit more power and is supposed to be a little inaccurate at displaying battery percentage, but I did not notice the inaccuracy in my testing. BMS115 limits power and is supposed to be more accurate at displaying battery percentage. DRV130 is an old factory speed controller firmware that both the custom firmware is used as a base. DRV134 is a newer speed controller firmware and this is the same one I've been using in all my previous videos. Select the firmware of your liking and then tap flash. After about a minute, it should be done. Tap check version and the new firmware should show up. A quick note is if you flash any of the custom firmware, it will show up as DRV130. I have tried all the combinations of the speed control firmware and battery management firmware. It is difficult to explain to you how much faster or slower one combination is to another, so I have done some testing on a local track and here are the results. I'm gonna go, go, go. Now 
these tests are full throttle tests. The tests are not perfect, but they do give you an idea of how fast they accelerate and the top speed. My personal favorite is BMS 107 with the 200 CFW. The aggressive braking takes a little getting used to, but is much appreciated in a panic stop situation. The top speed is awesome, but it sort of hunts a little. I can feel it accelerate to 31 km per hour, and then back off to 30 km per hour, and then accelerate again to 31 km per hour. But I only notice that it does this on a slight downhill. Another huge improvement is the increased amount of torque. Climbing hills is way better. Hills where I used to be able to only do 10 km per hour stock, I can now do 15 km per hour. Range, surprising, was not the biggest drawback, as I was still able to travel 20 km but with much improved power even after 50% battery remaining. So my estimate is about 2 km of range loss. Another drawback is heat. With more power comes more heat, and the motor definitely got much warmer. So this is something you should monitor on warm days, especially after a long uphill. I would consider it too hot if you can't hold your hand on the hottest part of the motor. Another problem with heat is if the battery is too warm, it will not take a charge. You will notice this when trying to plug in and charge your scooter. The green light on the charger wall will stay green, and it will not turn red to indicate charging. The solution to this is to leave the charger plug in, and after it has cooled down enough, it will automatically start charging again. So I think I've covered most of what you need to know about the firmware reflash, but please, only try this at your own risk. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Go, go, go. Go. All these tests are full throttle tests.